Oh my, this, this, this bishop who we just convinced to be our, our, uh, vassal, he, uh, he turned against us in this war. The traitor. The coward. He's gonna learn the hard way then, I guess. Yeah. As I and a group of my faithful make our way through the church, I spot a priest tending to his duties in the middle of the night. So because we have high entry, we can knock him out from behind and make a sacrifice for extra dark power. I think that's probably the best option just because it's available because we have that stat. Yeah. Navigating our way through the small church, I and my companions have entered the small room that goes for the inner sanctum. The room contains the sparsest possible offerings to God, honorings to God, and a scant few decorative idols and relics. The state of this place shows clearly the superiority of our cause. So we can take it for seven bucks, or burn it all in the name of Satan for a tiny bit of dark power. Um, I like that little 69 at the end of our dark power, so let's just take the cash. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's gone. <laughs> Well, we got it! <laughs> the night is silent as we exit the church, our, our foul rites making sure that the holiness of the place is tainted for years to come. Dark deeds done in secret. It's so evil. <laughs> Man, this rebellion's annoying. My son has requested to join the Knights Templar in their struggle against the infidel, even though this will forever disinherit him. We're gonna have to say absolutely not, and then try and get him back on our side. We'll give him, we'll make him master of the hunt. It's almost as good okay. as being a Templar. He's got 13, alright. Your friend Ali has sent you a gift. It is a small puppy, but of the finest pedigree and destined to grow into a great hunting dog. Hell yeah, thank you, Ali. Yes, Bobby. Your new puppy has no name yet, my lord. What will you call it? I mean, obviously. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even read that one yet. I was like, what? A little too on the nose, but... <laughs> We're just gonna call it Lucy in front of people. That yeah, know. exactly. <laughs> Your two pet. Oh yeah, we had a cat too. Your two pets truly fight like cat and dog. You can barely sleep at night unless you lock them in separate rooms. In fear of confinement, your cat has begun hiding before bedtime. Yesterday, you spent the better part of an hour looking for it. You cannot stand this much longer. Just leave them... The let, let them figure it out. Or find a give the dog back to Ali, or give Ali the cat. Survival of the fittest. Let's figure it out. <laughs> they, they might get to like each other. Or yeah, that's possible. Get a cat. <laughs> just get eaten. Your friend and brother in darkness, Ali, is feeling lascivious, and just suggested that we might stage an impromptu orgy together in in honor of the great serpent, of course. <laughs> Wait, him and my wife? No, him and you know, just he's gonna. I mean, we're just gonna org. We're like party organizers you know it's not between any individual people we're just both gonna we're gonna be the organizers for it oh yeah sure That's but fine. we also <laughs> you also might do stuff with him <laughs> our wife isn't a satanist she wouldn't be invited probably oh yeah <laughs> okay what a lovely idea i'll wear my horned helmet <laughs> <laughs> lovely <laughs> Where am I? Oh yes, the orgy. Three days of wicked debaucheries conducted by a preapic dwarf from hell. The drugs, the copulation, the succubus with the hypnotic flute, the ritual murder. Oh, one of our courtier. We sacrificed a courtier. It's okay, he was, just a, he was just a peasant. Was it real? All I know is that Ali sure knows how to throw a party. I feel great. We get 100 dark power and we get brawny, which makes us stronger. Holy shit. This game's mental. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and Satan demands the sacrifice of a ruler. Well, I think we've got just the one. And we got just the one for you, buddy. <laughs> so my only thing here is that the fact that we have Robert uh, prisoner yeah. is uh, giving us points toward war score, so maybe we should sacrifice one of the lesser ones. I mean, they're all traitors. The Duke of York, perhaps. Yeah, let's do him then. Whoever, yeah. Duke Matthew looks dazed as he is dragged to the altar, but you can see dawning comprehension on his face as he is tied down. You ignore his beggings as chants of praise to Satan build to a crescendo. Finally, it is time. You swing your blade in an overhead arc, which ends in Duke Matthew's heart. Hail, Satan. R.I.P. Now a child is the ruler of York. And we can level up. We can become a priest. A dark uh, priest. Yes. Wait. Um, do we now have the ability to kill our wife? Uh, once we upgrade to this, and then we get some more dark power, we can. Okay. Today, when you were going for a hunt, you couldn't find your loyal canine companion anywhere. As you called its name, the stable master came over and told you that he had seen a cat chase a dog across the courtyard. Now it is nowhere to be found. <laughs> the cat... I guess survival of the fittest ended with the cat being the sure. fittest. So, we lose the hunting dog, 75% chance of getting depressed, or we get rid of the cat and have neither a cat nor a dog. Why would we get depressed? No. Because um, we're sad about our dog leaving, so either we take it out on the cat or we get sad. I'll take it. I'll take those odds. We're probably going to get depressed. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Stre stressed and depressed. Oh, man. That's all right. 
Our hoodie keeps getting fancier every time we level up. We got like a trim on it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Ali, no. Van he vanished without a trace. Ali. He just paced. Wow. What? What happened? Oh well. Our son is a good spy master. Sure is. <laughs> so he doesn't kill us for saying he can't go to the Templars. We lost our last Egyptian friend. Yeah. No, Shaiba's still around, I think. Oh, is he? Uh, yeah, he's he's chilling. He's vibing. Oh, okay. He's just not our chancellor anymore. Yeah. Okay. King, uh, the... <laughs> Robert died anyway. Oh. <laughs> let's go. Traitorous bishop. We'll deal with you later. And let's, uh... Let's put them in a... Maybe a more comfortable... Dungeon so that they don't die as quickly. Or sacrifice him to Satan. <laughs> I would sacrifice him. Gotta get that dark power somehow. Yes. Oh, it's run by a new guy? Yeah, it's always... A uh, new guy always inherits. Oh. Might be able to capture him, too. <laughs> Just a never-ending revolving door of priests to sacrifice. <laughs> Let's see how we're doing. Can we divorce our wife? Can we dark divorce our wife? Yes, we can. Annul your marriage to Queen Suniva by death. Using dark rat rituals and magic, this may have repercussions on your soul. Don't care. <laughs> the time has come to end my wedlock with Seneva. If not before God, then before Satan. Secluding myself, I pray and chant within the confines of the symbols I prepared on the floor. Holding a lock of Seneva's hair in my hand, only a few more spoken lines are needed to complete the ritual. Speak the words and seal her fate. One moment, my wife Seneva is crossing the open from one building to the next. To the next, a blindingly bright light and thunderous sound seemingly shatter the world. After myself and other witnesses manage to recollect ourselves, we find the singed remains of my wife's body lifeless on the ground. Out with a bang, she always did, did have style. <laughs> that was so, so fucked up. Rip. Alright, so who we're marrying? Someone, someone with high fertility. Yeah. Hopefully... Preferably someone we can recruit into the Satanists, too. Yeah, is anyone a sinner? Yeah. Well, lust is in itself a sin. Let's do it. She might be good. She's strong. Good looking. Takes ca good care of herself. She has two sins. Yes, alright. Yep, lusty and wrathful. Now, I know it's just our wedding night, but... You trying to, you trying to do some occultism? <laughs> <laughs> Though my last act of worship... Oh, our, our personality keeps shifting as a result of... Oh my god, how does he have so many... Where are these troops coming from? Oh, that's the army of Scotland? What? Who's he Oh, he's fighting the... Okay, well, Scotland's fighting up here. We'll just leave that to them. We won't, uh... No need for us to bother with that. Okay. We are now cruel. Just like dear old dad. Meeting with Queen Am Queen... I'm just gonna call her Emily. Meeting with Queen Emily, I made sure only to cautiously question the absolute power of her almighty god. Thankfully, it seems that my carefully chosen words had the desired effect on her. From her glittering eyes, I got the distinct impression that she enjoyed the philosophical aspect of our conversation. I've arranged a run-in. Her face darkens when I again attempt to discuss my worldviews. I then offer her my favorite protection spell, a chicken leg and a leather pouch. I thought it was harmless enough, but she refuses to accept the gift. What a wasted effort. Oh well. I don't know what these 2,600 troops are. I straight up don't know who they belong to. They don't belong to the leader of the English Revolt, that's for sure. I do not know who they belong to, or why they're still against us. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to get mercenaries for this. We've got the money for it. It's just obnoxious. I'm gonna hire some Scots to help us in this war. The day we have long awaited is finally upon us. The time has come for the child of Satan to enter this world and lead us to a new era of power and glory. The choice of the lucky mother falls upon you, honorable priest. So, <laughs> pretty interesting mission. The, uh, the final goal of the Satanists is to create a demon spawn in the world. So we can pick the honor of choosing the unholy mother as fallen to you. So we can pick any female member of Lucifer's own and uh, have her be choose her to be the mother of the child. Uh, let's give it to the highest like member score we have. Okay, it'll be her. All their husbands are like sick or dead or something. <laughs> now we also need 500 dark power. All right. Do we want to try to heal ourselves first? Fix up our hand? 
Yeah, how much to like get her to spawn the demon? Five hundred, so we're almost there. And then it's three hundred, four hundred to uh, no, just three hundred to heal ourselves. All right, yeah, let's do that. Though I may suffer for now, no earthly element is beyond the power of Satan. I am preparing a great ritual to cleanse my body and become like new. He may take and he may give. What power Satan displays? The pain of regrowth is immense, but I am restored. We got our hand back, boys. Whoa. One-handed no longer. Jeez. And we won. This revolution is... None of Robert's holdings are occupied. God damn it. We have to fight everyone that he's fighting. That's so unfair. Lothian claim on Dunbar. Scottish claim on Dunbar. So we have to kick the Scots out of all of his land. Okay, so no, we don't have to fight the Scots anymore because they finished up their war and took his land. Now we just need to siege his land back down again. We'll free him. And we got the Child King. And that's still not enough for peace. Why? Oh my... Usually when you when you capture a ruler, that should be it. That The, the war should be over. I, I don't know if that's the problem with the mod right now or what. But there's nothing much he can do about us anymore. Okay, now we're done. Finally. <laughs> God. The council votes no on... Well, just because Webby... So Webby's voting no on vassalizing this guy. Webster. Webster, what have we done to you? Why does he hate us? What? He was like a hundred, like... <laughs> yeah, he loved us a minute ago. But he's like, yeah, but what have you done for me recently? Yeah. Geico. All right, you're off the council. Shaiba's back on the council. Go Shaiba! I'm all in on Shaiba. Now we're vassalizing York. Reuniting these kingdoms. It's all we've ever tried to do. These guys are fighting again. God damn it. 